First, Sora, then that Chinese AI video tool, Kling, and now Gen3, created by Runway ML. Companies are really competing and giving us new AI video tools one after another. And what are we getting? Some really good and super realistic AI video tools. Now, Runway ML is special because it made the first video tool that businesses could use. Recently, they've come out with Gen 3 Alpha, their newest version. But before I talk more, let's watch this video. Just look at this. Can you believe this video was actually created by AI? Just look at the lighting, the texture of the skin, and how the background movement affects the face. Everything is ultra realistic and very detailed. And this is just one single example of it. But there are more videos that they have uploaded on their website. It seems like whoever trained Gen 3 Alpha did it with very detailed and carefully timed captions. This allows for creative transitions that are incredibly smooth and realistic. Just like the video that shows a first person video view from inside the cab of a train speeding through an old European city. One really amazing feature is fine grain temporal control. Let's see what this means with a video. Look at this one. The prompt here is an extreme close-up shot of an ant emerging from its nest. The camera pulls back, revealing a neighborhood beyond the hill. It shows a strong, wide world by zooming out from a macro view very smoothly. The captions are very descriptive and detailed, allowing for imaginative transitions. Now, now, the second one. It's doing really, really well with this first-person view style of video. Just look at how amazing it makes this underwater tunnel look. The colors are super vibrant and engaging. It really feels like you're moving through an underwater world. I love how it takes us so close to the seaweed, making it a truly immersive experience. One of the favorites is this one where they zoom in hyper fast on a dandelion. It's a very macro video showing an abstract world, which is absolutely beautiful and detailed. Runway Gen 3 packs a bunch of exciting features. It generates videos twice as fast as its predecessor. And you can also train and customize models to remember characters, which can then be brought up with just a single word. It tackles some of the tough challenges in AI video production, such as creating realistic movements, capturing critical camera angles, and accurately depicting fingers. The focus of Gen 3 is clear, quality, consistency, and motion. But Gen 3 Alpha 1 isn't just for creating AI videos. It also powers text-to-video, image-to-video, and text-to-image tools. By the way, this tool isn't publicly available yet, just like Sora isn't. I think they're keeping it private because of the elections, as there's a high chance these AI tools could be misused. If you want to know more about the potential dangers of these tools before elections, you can watch the video linked in the i button. Well, Runway has announced that we'll soon have access to their text-to-video model and an image-to-video model which simply means that we can take real life but AI-generated photos from other AI models, put them into runway, and animate them. We'll also still be able to use motion brush, advanced camera controls, and director mode in that new model. These tools help us take more control over how our animations look. We can decide which parts of the face, body, or other elements in a shot should be animated, and we can describe how the camera moves, like if it's panning, zooming, or tilting, which means you can do almost everything with this AI tool. So, does this mean that 2024 will be a life-changing year for video generation? Now, yes, we can say that. Because OpenAI has its kingpin, Sora AI, slated for release soon. Gen 3, which we just saw, looks impressive and appears competitive with Sora. There's also the Chinese Kling AI video generator, slightly behind Gen 3, but accessible to some users now, with a public release on the horizon. Meanwhile, Luma Lab's Dream is already publicly available and offers capabilities that surpass previous models. So yes, it's both exciting and, in some ways, concerning. With three competitive third-party generators in the mix, OpenAI may need to adjust its strategy. Sora's release will need to exceed expectations to stand out against against Gen 3. Well, what do you think? Share your views, and don't forget to watch these videos on your screen to stay updated.